stream let's see if everyone can hear me i think you should be able to hear me i'm loud enough check 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 yeah we're all right we're all, all all good let me get me a uh, game on spooky month is officially lit who's ready to scare up some good times we are in spooky month i've already got my overlay on i started early <laughs> I started like last week so we are going to be playing some like spooky hobby games um throughout this month I did last year as well um just haven't really got a, like a schedule set down uh, and actually what we're going to be doing on the channel uh going forward for this month uh, it's going to be a bit of a topsy-turvy month got a lot going on I'll tell you that right now uh, but it should be fun. It should be fun. We have a few collabs, uh, a few co-ops maybe with LO in. Uh, we got a few other things in the pipeline as well. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be a good month, a fun month. Uh, so we're going to uh, carry on uh, with our Chinatown Detective Agency today. It's a late one. Uh, I don't want to be, want to be playing like... Uh, just uh what well, just human or whatever it was called uh because it's more like uh, i'm gonna have to really delve into that game this is just a chillax stream maybe it'll last for an hour or two yeah. so let's get on to the game i'll be watching no problem man if you want to get to sleep get some sleep time, get ready for some ghostly fun together fam that's it that's it okay so let's we save this i can't even remember where we actually saved this uh I think it was on this, but it must have been. Last finished mission. Yeah, that sounds about right. So I think we just we had three missions to do. Um uh, I think we've just done one. And there's two missions left, and then we have to choose who we're gonna work for full time. If I can remember correctly. And I've not got a very good memory, so So let's see what, what we're gonna do. Yeah, let's have a look at the mission log. Yeah, we're gonna pick a client. There we go. So we we are picking a client. So we we can have a pick Rupert, Tiger, Lily or Kieran. Now I think I've just done if I'm if I'm not if I'm right, I think we've just done a mission for Rupert. So we've got Tiger, Lily or Kieran left, and then out of each one of them we have to pick full time and then that's it you only work for them so at the moment we we can do two additional missions uh just to basically earn some money and stuff like that okay so let's close that down inspector chrono in close that solve some ghostly mysteries together Thank oh i wish that i wish there were ghostly mysteries Right, let's get our contacts up. Ads are up, so if you want to skip and use your Twitch Prime, let's keep the vibes rolling. 
that's it we're not in a um sub sub uh sub september no more uh so i don't know if the if the subs have gone back up uh, anything like that but if you have got prime please use them it doesn't have to be for me it can be for any of your favorite content creators but please use them let me get my chats up as well because i'm not i'm not even got my chats up here let's see who's on who's on tonight right I mean, <laughs> thanks for the check-ins, uh, Halloween. Uh, thanks, Alicia, for keeping them entertained. Yeah, uh, Inspector Chrono, that's it. Suck at racing. Uh, hard to make Inspector Gadget music in chat. Da 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 I used, to, I used to love that. I used to love um, Inspector Gadget. Go, go, Gadget! <laughs> uh, gotta lurk and get ready for tonight's races. Saw that you'd hopped on and just wanted to show some love. Do that Inspector Gadget thing. <laughs> it worked better in my head. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm gonna come on. I'm gonna come on you. Uh, I'm gonna come on you. Uh, you're streaming it in a bit and start singing it. Da -da 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 -da, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no problems, Doug. You're going to have a good race, mate. Uh, okay, hell. Right. Inspector, yeah, Inspector Chrono. Inspector Chrono. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> go, Chrono, go. Da -da 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 Suck at high racing. Good luck with the race. Keep those wheels turning and bring <laughs> exactly right uh rupert let's go for rupert how I, I, I can't remember if we've done him or not so let's go for rupert what's up right yeah okay so we have done the extra mission see how we can just go work full time so we're not gonna go him we're gonna go tiger lily we'll go for tiger lily and now we'll go for karen so tiger lily thanks for the lurk man I think Anne's likely. I think I lost my mind. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we've got see, yeah, we've got two different ones here. We've got start new case or work full time. So, what we want to do is actually start the new case. And then we want to do the same for, in a minute for Karen. And then out of all three of them, we can we can work just like basically privately for that, that one person. So, basically, there's three playthroughs on this game with three different kind of endings three completely different stories at, at the beginning uh, and if you watch watch the stream we did about i don't know it was about two weeks ago now maybe maybe a bit further back but it's on the fods um on twitch and on youtube um chrono pixel gaming if you don't know <laughs> uh but yeah um you basically you got to work for all three of them and then as you're getting more and more into it they're like hey you need to come just work for me so you you have got your choices let's start a new case listen why don't you come over i'll let you know how and where you go from here okay, okay. i'll be over as soon as i can i really love this game when i first uh, tried it out uh hence why i keep on going back to it every now and again so it's got a really good atmosphere to it. It's got real, really good music to it. I like the set out of it. The only thing, like I said, the criticism I had is the web button down here. So, if, and you probably won't see it, but if I click on this web, it'll say, do you want to open an internet browser? Now you think it's a fake one. It's not. It actually boots up Google on my PC right now, on my second monitor. <laughs> I have Google just popped up. And how it works is you're meant to, in real life, um google what they want you to find and um, the problem with that is and what i what i had the issue with last time i played this is that as soon as you start typing in something it comes up chinatown uh, mystery walkthrough <laughs> chinatown mystery video <laughs> so it's like uh it kind of like breaks the immersion i wish that they had the fake a fake google do you know what i mean like the uh, their own fake web browser where you could only search for kind of like stuff 
to do with the game and not everything else. I, that was the only criticism I had of this game. But, yeah. So, where, okay, what are we doing? Uh. Oh, well, we've got to go to Tiger Lilies, haven't we? Uh, at a health club in Jilong. Jilong. Fuck. Ah, there we go. Jilong. Yes. Is it Jilong? Let's just show I know. Do you know what? I'm really bad at pronunciation. Uh, saying names. Yeah, Tiger Lilies. There we go. Lucas is at the grade of <coughs> he went to pick up some things his father left him. Oh yeah, so this, so this, I can't, I remember now. So this lady has been uh, hiring me to basically research artifacts and then drop them back off at their uh, their countries or in their actual uh, origin of uh, where they came from. And um, so basically, I and I, I don't know the full story, but. Who, who she works for the son and he's like you know very rich or the family's very rich and that uh, his father got these artifacts through let's say um not very good ways <laughs> uh black market and all that kind of stuff anyway he feels a bit guilty that he's got them um and he and he wants to send them back to the original owners or uh, the countries that they originated from so they could go to museums and stuff like that which is pretty good but i i, I think I, I sense that there's something else going on but we haven't found that out yet so he's at the great bold he wants to he went to pick up some things that his father left him Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, lead the way. Now let's go. Okay, new case, prize possessions. So these cases, they don't last long. They're around about 20 minutes, 30 minutes long. Um, depending on the research you have to do. Like, for instance, like these ones, if they give you, if they give, they'll give you like an artifact and it's, the, that's the research is like finding out where the artifacts come from or where you have to drop them back off to. Well, this is a bit different now. We're actually doing something a bit different, I think. Hello, and welcome to the great abode, the heart and home of the temple of the self. Here, all are welcome. No matter your race, creed, past faults and imperfections, you are all my brothers and sisters. Okay. If you would like to learn more about the temple of the self and how we can help you find meaning in your existence, please approach our welcome desk at any time, 24 hours a day. If you would like to book a learning session, you may approach the events terminals. Or if you'd simply like to take a look <coughs> around, please feel free to do so. This is your home too. Thank you for coming. Bless you. May the creator keep you and shine his light everlasting upon you. <coughs> Excuse me, we'll get some water in a minute. Peace. Easy for you to say. You've got an eternity of peace to look forward to. As for your progeny, well, let's see for ourselves. Let's keep going. Okay. I'm going to go to the small office. Yeah. So this is the guy that we've been working for in the middle. The guy with the glasses on. And I won't hesitate to take legal action legal action for what <coughs> to collect what is rightfully mine as per our father's will 
I'm within my rights. I'm guessing that's his sister. <laughs> the trinkets might be yours, but this entire temple and its premises is private property. My property, to be exact. And you can't just walk in here unannounced. Well, I'm here. And it appears, so is my team. We'll be collecting all the items listed in the will. And then, we'll be out of your hair. I hope you aren't having too hard a time, Luca. Caleb will be quite upset to see you both arguing. Especially when it's over things that he rightfully left you. <coughs> I see you still hang around that glorified massage parlor. It's gonna get some water, guys. I won't be two minutes. And how is the proprietors of such a fine establishment doing? Hands full? Right. <coughs> Let's go. Well and how are you, Ariel? How's your holy pyramid scheme going? Tell me, does the creature accept cryptocurrency? You know, if we weren't in my father's office, or in a holy place for that matter, I'd slap the cheap lipstick right off your mouth. <laughs> this is Rouge Lato, my dear. You'll need a fistful or two from one of your donation boxes if you afford it. <laughs> These two having a proper slanger match. Ready, ladies, we're here to help Lucas keep the claws tucked. And who is this? One of your new girls, Lily? Does she have proper documentation? That's enough. Glad you're here, Amira. I actually need your help once again. See these objects on my father's table? They're very valuable historical artifacts. Okay. Just a few of the things in my father's personal collection. Very valuable is correct. I take good care of those, Lucas. Might pay for your children's college tuition one day. These are of exceptional importance to their respective cultures. It would be a shame. Like my father, I kept it to myself. So I'd like you to find out where they came from and donate them to the respective museum where they belong. You can't be serious, Lucas. Do you have any idea how much they cost? A lot, I'm sure. But I don't want them. I don't want the money either. Something you and Dad could never seem to come to grips with. It will, however, pay for Amira's time and efforts. If you can't appreciate them, leave them to me and the temple. Take them, Amira. Send them home. And keep me updated. Oh, so there's kind of a conflict there, isn't there? I mean, does she try and stop us? You are an absolute fool, Lucas. You always were. Maybe. But I was never Dad's fool. Which is more than I can say for you. Take your little toys and get out of my temple. Have a good life, Lucas. 
That was oddly satisfying. <laughs> yes, it was. But we've got a lot left to do if we're going to turn the vestiges of my father's life into good deeds. Real good deeds. Amira, the items are yours. Please, try not to take too long. You'll get paid for every item delivered. But please be done in a week's time. Okay, so we're on Thursday. So we got until next Thursday. Thank you. I'll give Lily a call once I've made headway. So looks like we got three items. Okay. Three items to find out where they come from and getting them delivered to. Alright, let's get to work. Anything in there? No, okay. So, we can call a meeting for help. She's, um, like, she works at the local library and she'll actually give us a bit of uh, insight on maybe where they come from. Turn as many items as you can called Tiger Lily to let her know your progress because we're going to do the bronze statuette, gold figurine and the dagger. Okay. Can we add evidence? Okay. Figurine. It's one of the oldest of the lot, at least from the first impression. It's banged up pretty bad. Definitely gold. Depicts a woman with a large disc or orb over her head, surrounded by horns. Again, really old. Statuette is clearly a statue of the Buddha standing inside of a, the typical seated version one. Uh, standing instead of the typical seated version one. I uh, usually, uh, which one usually thinks of. It's metal judging from the discoloration. Bronze, it could be from anywhere, but my guess is that this is really old. So it's probably closer to the roots of the religion. Dagger. An old dagger made from what looks like chipped stone. The handle looks like a man wearing an eagle headdress. It's adorned with colourful shells and stones. No metal materials. The, the bottom one sounds like Native American. To me. Just just by the, the man wearing an eagle headdress. I yeah, could be wrong. That's just straight off the bat. And the other two, who knows. Maybe the, f the first one with an orb uh, over the head. Maybe something that's surrounded by horns. Maybe something like Egyptian or something. Uh, we Do we get pictures? No. Okay, so this is where you use the web. Or you can go and ask the person. So this is how this game would then work. So you would then ask. Let's do it a bit like that. Right, so. Alright, so this is how this then would work. Um, I think we did this last time by... Is it display? Yeah, and then we pop over to that. Oh, okay, that won't work. Doesn't matter. So, how am I meant to do this then? Oh, that's, that's why. There we go. So if we go to that, click on that, there we go. Oh, you can that that it's a, bit, it's a little bit stretchy stretchy fired this is not really the right resolution should be able to do this so if I saw if I click off that so what was it so the first one is a uh, Definitely gold. Depicts a woman with a large disc or orb overhead. So if we type that in, that's really all we need. So, uh, woman. Is it 
it statue? Was it statue? Figurine. Figurine. I probably spelled that wrong, but it'll also correct for me anyway. Uh, and this is where it's all bloody. Um, so, and this is why I said this is this is the only thing I don't like about this game is this bit. Like the, other than that, the game's really good. I I I think that this this what I'm doing now, so you have to share enough of the screen and all that. I think this should be just a fake Google with everything that they need on that fake Google, fake pages, you name it, real information, you know, all that kind of stuff, but just fake pages, it could easily be done. You know, if they had it in Grand Theft Auto 5, for God's sake, so, yeah, they could have easily done it. I think even in 4 and 3, they have fake web pages and stuff on, on a mobile phone. So they could definitely be done. Uh, so, woman for Green and uh, with a large disc or orb over her head so Round it by horns. So we'll put that back on and see what it says. Now, like I said, I've, I've, I've tried to do it incognito because I think that might help with the searches um, and it won't might not come up like the walkthroughs and the videos and stuff like that we were getting last time. But if they do, they're there. It's just one of them things. So it looks like it could be Hafa. The goddess Hafa. There we go. That's, that's her there. Again, it's a bit hard to see, show you guys. There you go. Might be easier to do it like this. Just so you guys have got a better. And then, like, like there you go. There you go. So this is the goddess half hour. That. Right. <clears throat> so now we know who she is. So it's an Egyptian goddess. I did say Egyptian. Wearing on her head a sun disc between the horns of a cow. Uh, and this is her son, the infant Horus. So we need to... What so what? So we need so we need just need to take it to Egypt. Probably Cairo. I, I again let let's So the first one It's gonna be that Suck a tie racing, get that set up ready. We'll be uh, here waiting to cheer you on. I'm guessing I'm guessing it's gonna be uh, just send us a message. Okay, I'm going to reboot and get set up. Uh, and we'll be back to lurk. More soon. Expect the chrono. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Uh, so I think, yeah, we're going to... That's where we're going to go for the first one. We're going to go Cairo. I'm going to double check that. That information is correct. I think it is. To be quite honest with you, I, don't, I can't see it being wrong. Um, so... So, yeah, so half hour. There she is as well. If you want to do that way. Let's see. Half hour was portrayed in Egyptian art. Okay. I'm guessing we just go to like any Egyptian city that I was in here, right? Now, sometimes they do ask questions as well. So, right. So we're going to go back onto that, click on that. So we're going to go straight to Cairo on this one. 
deliver our first one. Let's get back into the game. Okay, so we want to go map. Uh, Shanghai Airport. Oh yeah, how do we do this again? Okay, I actually forget how to do this. Oh, it's this harvest, the harvest system, that's it. So we want to go, there we go, we've got Cairo. Is there anywhere else? Nope, we, this is where we're going to go. Uh, today is the date, yeah. So we have to depart three hours before. Uh, so for, uh, should be able to do that one. And then we should just go. Well, there we go. So now we're off to Cairo. We go to the museum. There we go. Museum director, Miss Dharma. Where did you get this from? I have a collection of a recently deceased gentleman. But this is what I can tell. Probably Iris. I've seen similar figures that date back to the third intermarry period. Interesting. What makes you think it's Iris? Well, aside from the similarities, so it didn't say Iris to, to, to us, did it? What did it say it was? Athor. Okay, so down in the German New Kingdom, the 15, so we can, so we've got a BC uh, just in case. 1550 to 1070 BC, goddesses such as a Mutt and a Mute or an Isis. I, what, what they've just said. Is that the same person? Oh, okay. Kind of looks like the same person. Maybe they were sisters or something. Who knows? Yeah, I'll say, uh, apart from Salavad Caesar's hello identified artifact, she's wearing the solo disc between the horns of the cow, headdress that used to be associated with another goddess, Hafar, which, which, which we've just got. Hafar was the sort of uh, mother deity, an aspect that Isis took on through the ages. Oh, so it was what? She was in cosplay? I don't know. Figurines like this dated back to about 10,000 to 500 BC. It was the time of chaos beginning with what we call the Bronze Age Collapse. Egypt was one of the few places to with, uh, to withstand the destruction and disorder brought by the invasion of the Sea Peoples. Sea Peoples? The Atlanteans? Maybe? Who were the Sea People? It could have been Romans because they came, they came over the sea, didn't they? And then they basically took over all of Egypt. Could be the Romans. Uh, we don't know uh, too much about them, but who they were or where they came from and why seemingly suddenly they decided to come into the scene and destroy one of the great civilizations of the ancient world. If I remember the history uh, correct, it's because they, 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 they thought there was a great power over there. And they wanted to control it. That's what I, I. That's what I think. And the. I think they found something in. Um, uh, what was the guy's name? Uh, Alexander. Like um, in like in the libraries of Alexander, telling them about this power. Beautiful artifact from the dark time. Indeed, if my guess is correct, a statue, a statue of Isis would be quite the addition to our collection. She was an incredibly important goddess in Egyptian mythology, a mother, fi fi a mother figure and a model of the perfect wife, the resurrect of the murdered husband and protect of the underworld. Quite a resume. Absolutely. Are we, are we to keep this then? Yeah, it's a donation. We'll hope it'll be uh, taken care of. Oh, trust, it'll be treasured here, where it belongs. Thank you, and thank you to the state of the donor. It was my pleasure. Thank you for meeting me.
Okay. Boom. First one done. Out of there. So we might as well actually stay here. And uh, try and figure out the next one. Because that makes more sense. Rather than going back to Singapore. back Because we've only got a week haven't we. To figure these out. So we've done one. We've done one down. Why are you tapping? Detective work burns calories too. Let's sleuth away those snackies while we watch. I don't know why, me, but you keep on timing out me stream loots. Why? Why you keep on doing that? I don't know. I, I honestly stupid. Absolutely stupid. Right. Anyway. Uh. Right, so we've done the figurine. So let's do the statuette. Turn that down on my ear a little bit so I can hear it a bit better. Ask a moderator for my permission before I post that. I'm going to have to change that. I don't know why it keeps time, timing it out. Stupid. Uh, Clearly, statue, uh, statue from off the Buddha standing uh, instead of. Right, so again, so what we want to do? Web. Yeah. Oops. Theo Nix Wolf, hey, oh, fam. Let's crank it up and solve some. Hey, mates. Welcome into the stream. Thanks for the check in mate, how are you? So let's, okay, let's uh, display capture again. Hello. Uh, where's it? There we go. Okay, so. Thanks for doing the shouty outs. Uh, what were, what were we? Where were we? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we'll, yeah, so we'll do, so we'll do, uh... Right. We... Yeah, we can, okay, we, we can do that. So let's go back. Google search. Do that. Chilling after work and getting some dinner done. Nice. Nice. So. Okay, so statue. Off. Buddha. We'll make sure this is properly in frame in a minute, but I just need to read this because it saves me going back and forward and back and forward and back and forward. Uh, standing instead. So it's standing. Standing. That's all it says, isn't it? It's metal, metal. Yeah. Seven, let's get this mystery rolling like butter on toast. <coughs> uh, metal, metal. Can I leave statue of Buddha standing instead of a uh, typical seasoned version? One usually thinks of it's metal judging from the discoloration bronze. Bronze, we're gonna put bronze in bronze. Runs okay. Could be any. It could be from anywhere though. But my guess is that it's really old, so it's probably closer to the roots of its religion. Okay, so. So what we got? Uh, we got what we got? Early one. I 
see, you got a few different brothers though from the from um. So it could be like they could be from anywhere. At the time the sculpture was made, multiple bronzes began to replicate. Okay. It's bronze but they're exceptional because it carries an inscription on the base. Does it say anything in the in the game about anything else? It's just a Buddha. Clearly a statue of Buddha standing instead of the typical seated version. One usually thinks of it's metal, judging from the discoloration bronze. It could be from anywhere, but my guess is it's really old. Yeah, they actually make you do the research, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they really do make you do the research, yeah. Yeah, they actually make... <laughs> that, that, that's what I was just saying. Like, I really like this game. And I even like this bit of it. I, it, it you know, the, I, I, I really like this. The thing is, is that the, the browser in the game, it takes you to a real life Google browser. And I, and if you, if, and I, if you don't go incognito, so actually going, now they should have set this in the game as well, really. But if you don't go in, incognito, it straight away finds the walkthroughs and the videos for the game. It kind of like breaks the immersion in a way. Um, so I figured out if I don't, if I, if I close that browser down straight away and just open up a incognito browser, then yeah. Hey, it didn't get blocked this time. What the hell? So yeah, it's, I've played a few of these games before that uses real life browsers as well, to be fair. Um, it's not the first one. The other one was like a hacking game. Uh, I played back in the day. I never streamed it though, and you had to uh, do your research and and find things in real life and in real time to like hack. I can't remember what the game was called, but it was very very good. I I spent hours on it and hours. But yeah, it's a it's a this, I really like this game. Like I said, it's a it, it's it's everything I love in a game. It, you know, it, it's pixel art. It's very at atmospheric. It, it's very like futuristic. Um, but then on the other side of it, you've actually got to be a proper detective, find out everything. Like this, this one could be anything. There's so many Buddha statues. God knows, like I, who knows what which one. It does look cool. Thanks for coming in, legendary. How are you, my man? Legendarage, all right. It's got all the vibes. Can't wait to sleuth our way through Chinatown. We just gotta find out where it could be from, though. No? Ah, oh, well, thanks for the lurk. I I appreciate the lurks as well, guys. You know what I mean? You you know I really appreciate you coming in and chatting. I understand sometimes you guys are busy and stuff like that. Um, so you know, I don't mind the ad lurk or anything like that. It doesn't really bother me. Um, support is support. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing doing good. Beginning of the week, I was a bit touch and go. Um, went out went out to format. Um, with uh, with this get together, came back with something. Don't know if it was flu. Don't know if it was COVID. Don't know. Don't know what it was. Kind of put me out of commission for two three days. To be honest with you. I'm still recovering now, like still just sleeping it off, but I like I feel a lot better in, in myself being able to get out a bit more and do stuff. Let's solve mysteries. <laughs> yeah, you went. Yeah, I think I, I think a lot of people don't know. A lot of people said that they got ill. Uh, I talked to a few people. They said, "Yeah, we got ill as well." So I don't know. I I'm one of them. I'm one of them that I'll hug anybody, shake the hands. You know what I mean? So you never know. You never know. <laughs> And I normally carry um like anti back with me as well, you know, because you never know. And I forgot it. I I so forgot it that uh, that day as well. So it's just one of them. Yeah. I don't know about this one. It could be honestly. It could be anything. Let's type in old. Let's type in. 
old. It says it's old, doesn't it? It specifically says old. So let's see old. Legendary Joel dodging that flu is like scoring a goal in extra time. Let's keep those. <coughs> to be honest with you, I don't think it was. I, I mean, I don't know. Because um, we were there until around about 11 ish. So unless it got busier when we left, it didn't seem like it was filled enough. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I mean, it, it, yeah, the venue was very big, but I, I, and there was plenty of room to, like, you know, um, you know, do, we weren't squashed in like sardines, were we? And to be honest with you, I, I felt like the, it could have been filled a little bit more. Or maybe a few more, even like stuff being put in there. So we could all, you know, because there wasn't a lot of arcade games and stuff like that. Um, you know, there could have been, you know, a bit more stuff. Right, so we've got a Thai one, a South Korean one. I just don't know. Doesn't actually say as well. Hmm. Korea. What does it say? Does it say it's kind of worn? It says it's worn, doesn't it? Clearly a statue of Buddha, standing instead of the typical seated version. One usually thinks of it. It's metal judging from the discoloration. We've got the discoloration. Bronze. It could be from any... Maybe this one? Because it's got the discoloration on it. What do we reckon? Should we go for this one? So let's visit... Let's visit this. Standing Buddha. Korea, 8th century, gilt bronze statue, typically small uh, icon made for private devotion in the unified Silla Kingdom, exemplifies high point in the production of uh, Buddhist sculpture in Korea, the, Buddha, the Buddha's hand gestures Mudra symbolizes uh, the spelling of fear and granting of wishes, and maybe... I don't know. I don't know. And we'll be taking we'll be taking a guess on this one, you know. Because there's so many of them. We've got this one. But this is from Thai, from Thailand. This one that's in Cleveland at the moment. Um, but where does it come from? Not too sure. Northern India. Mm. <coughs> I don't know if that would be it. Rare Chinese bull of their cells rare. 2.2 million. Mm, makes me wonder if we based it on this game. I don't, I don't know. I don't know this one. I've, I might come back to the Buddha one and see what the knife is saying because there's so many of them. It's either this one, though, or the one that was, like, kind of worn. I don't know what's this. Hold on a minute. Old Standing Bronze Buddha from Burma. I've got a funny... Now looking at this one, Rather than that one. Have a look at this one. I don't know. This 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 one's calling out to me. It's got the it's got the better discoloration on it. 
It's bronze. It's standing. <coughs> it's from Burma. Hmm. Okay, we're going to Burma. If Burma is on the map, we're going to Burma. So, <laughs> yep. So we roll. When was, when did I close down my uh, window by accident? Put that, put that back up. There we go. And back onto that. Back onto the channel. Just close it down by accident. When was, when? There we go. Okay. Sweet. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Okay, we go Horace. Right. Okay, Burma is not on there, so it's not Burma. So we got Budapest. Well, so we're not going to that one. Let's pull, let's pull that down again. It's not going to be that one. Where is Burma, actually? Where is Burma? Okay. It's not there, though. <coughs> and we got Korea. We can level this down. Have we got Korea? No. Okay. So that one's out of there. We've got Thailand. No. Okay. Let's stir up some fun while we crack these cases wide open. Mystery awaits. India? New Delhi's in India, isn't it? Pretty sure New Delhi's in India. Capital of India. So, so the first one that I seen is from Northern India. I don't know exactly if if it's New Delhi in Northern India. I don't know. Let's have a look at a map. So it says it's from. Where's this from? Oh, oh, the Pradesh. Oh, okay. It's not far. It's not far. I'll tell you that. Looking at a map, you got New Delhi and you got other and it, like other Pradesh is like right here. It's not far at all. So there's other Pradesh and there's New Delhi. So as you can see, it's, I mean, you know. When I say not far, it's just pretty, it's probably a little bit of a distance. But on a map, it's right there. 
it could be. We could try it. We could try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let, let's go New Delhi. Let, let's try it. We'll know if we're wrong because it'd be like, ah, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Put a statue, what are you going on about? <laughs> That's what it'll be like. So, okay. Right. Okay. What time is it? Uh, so we can get that one out of here. I'll wait three hours, okay. Time is it? Uh, eight. Uh, so what's it now? Four, five, six, seven, eight. We wait one hour, we should be able to board it, I think. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> okay, we're hoping that this is right. Oh, please. Yes. Oh, my. This is a splendid statue in Buddha. Please be it. This is particularly well preserved. No missing parts. Largely intact. Superficial scratches and dents. But nothing more. What a fine, Miss Dharma. I trust they'll make a great addition to your museum's exhibits. Oh, definitely. This, this, oh, my God. I can't believe we found it. We can't believe we found the right one. There were so many of them as well. So bloody many of them. This is the first one we looked at and thought, maybe. But so many of them. Who knows? But just by going through the list of airports, we kind of like, okay, it can't be that one. Can't be that one. Can't be that one. India. Let's go for this. Okay. Okay. So definitely. So we've... So by uh, elimination, we found the right one. Oh, definitely. This dates back to the Gumpa Empire, a golden age of uh, Indian history. Art flourished. Uh, the culture flourished. Craftsmanship certainly flourished. Look at these little details. The Abna Mordra, the gesture the Buddha makes with his right hand, a chest of reassurance and protection. The Ushinganja, that's its little bump on its head, a symbol of great wisdom. Elongated, back to work. Uh, the elongated earlobes. Let's get ready to solve more mysteries once they're back. The left hand holding his flowing robes. The, and I guess that's his. Uh, the, I thought Buddha was like, didn't have a sex, but don't matter. Uh, whatever, I, I digress. Uh, these are all uh, motifs uh, that would be repeated again and again and represented of the Buddha in different times and places. But it was during the Gumta period when they uh, became standard features, as you can clearly see in this bronze piece. Fine addition, indeed. Who do we go with scrap to? So, Google. <laughs> Time to work. Have a great team. No problem, man. Have a good race. And guys, if you haven't already been to Suck at Racing's uh, streams, honestly, go over there. He's an amazing guy. If, you, if you're into car racing, NASCAR, uh, commentary, honestly, uh, I'll give you a shout out now, mate, so people know your channel. Suck at Racing, good luck with work. Catch you later when we're solving mysteries. But yeah, go go and give him a follow. Go and watch his races. Uh, he's an amazing commentator. Honestly, you'll have such a good time. I always have a good time over in Doug's uh, streams. Uh, so go over there and give us some support. Right, so where were we? Gemma Stoner, who's, uh, who is now either reincarnated or broken the cycle of Sazma, depending on whether uh, he followed the path of the Buddha in his lifetime. I see. I sincerely hope it is the la latter. This act alone is a good deed in his name. So thank you. And thank you to the donor. Thank you for seeing me. My pleasure. I hope it does it part to preserve your country's history. Two gone. One left. One left, baby. Okay. So we've done the figurine. We've done the statuette. Now the dagger. Okay. Now I said it was uh, like um, straight off the bat. 
It was like uh, American Indians. But I I don't know. It could be like Aztecs or something like that. Who, who knows? But an old dagger made from what looks like chip stone. The handle looks like a man wearing the eagle headdress. It's adorned with colourable shells and stones. No metal materials. This is what I was saying. So this could be like Aztecs, Incas, Native, Native Americans, something like that. Maybe. Who knows? Um, sound, sounds very much in that kind of like era or uh, people that would use that kind of stuff. But again, it could be anything. So, so we'll stay here. We've got hope. We've only on Saturday. We started on Thursday, so we've got we've been on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We've only done three days. We got a whole week, so we got plenty of time to do this last one. So web, yes, we want the web. Incognito. This has actually been working really good for actually doing our searches because it hasn't been coming up. Um, like the walkthroughs and stuff like that where I was getting last time. So incognito is the way to go on this game if you want to actually do it properly. There might be a way actually to look in the back end of the uh, actual game because there must be like in the files like a, how to, you know, to do link. Uh, there might be a way to actually just like it, make it incognito straight away. Who knows? Right, so let's uh, let's do this again. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got. What is it? Okay, old dagger. Made from stone. Ooh. Just say chipped, but I'll just say that. Uh, handle. With a man. Wearing a... Eagle head dress. Let's see that. That's very, very Pacific, isn't it? Okay. I think we've got it. Aztec. Mexico. Okay. So, and it's an Aztec uh, obsidian sacrificial knife with a mosaic handle in the shape of an eagle knight. A man wearing a headdress in the shape of an eagle's head from Mexico from 15th or 16th century. So we're going to, we're going to Mexico. Oops. That is kind of, we get a, can we get a, we get a bigger picture of that. There we go. Kind of what it, what it look, would look like with the mosaic on it, stuff like that. Oh, you can't, guys can't see it, but there you go. Looking at it. There's, there's a, like a proper good picture of it. There you go. There's it. There's it carved. A little bit of binding. And then like the actual like mosaic kind of person. <coughs> right. So we're going to go to Mexico. That's where we think it's going to be. Harris. Okay. Is Me Mexico City is Mexico, yeah? I'm, I am guessing that is. I'm guessing so. I'm going to just make, make sure. 
<laughs> you never know. I'm guessing it is. Mexico City is in Mexico. It's the capital of Mexico. Of course it is. Who knew? I didn't. I thought it was like a Rio de Janeiro or somewhere. Ah, that's Brazil, isn't it? That's Brazil, not Mexico. Shows I know my map. <laughs> All right, okay. Mexico City. Here we come. All right, so let's do that. Okay. What time's it now? Uh, we can't do that one, but we can do this one. Because uh, we need to board three hours. I've made a mistake by this week. This is too too late, as it's already nine o'clock now. So we'll book that flight for <coughs> twenty past two. Oh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. We need three hours. So if we can wait enough for two, we should be able to do it, I think. <coughs> That right? Yeah, see, see, I, I I know how to play this game now. The first time I made so many mistakes using this map system, I wasted so much money, so much money. Okay. We go. Seven more, seven more new daggers like these are amazing examples of craftsmanship, or the uh, Mexica, or the Aztecs as they are more po popularly known. Now we're using ritual sacrifices to certain gods to the Mexica, appeasing the gods where they're crucial to preventing calamity. It's tempting to think that these were using actual rituals, but this is too fragile and was mostly uh, likely a symbolic object. Thank you for this. It's a beautiful artifact. Please take care of it. And we're done. So I think the, what we got to do now is... We've got done that. Call Tiger Lily. Amira, how are you doing? I've returned all the items. You never cease to amuse me. I'm sending you the money along with a bonus from Lucas. We just made 10 grand. It's not bad. We had 21 grand now. We got 31 grand. Appreciate it. I traveled from one corner of the world to another, you know. <coughs> I'm sure you did great work. Wait for my call. I'm sure we'll hear back from Lucas soon. Thanks, Lily. I'll be waiting on you. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Mi we're gonna do the last mission, and that'll be it for the night. So the last missions. So they're very different. The, the missions. The first mission, you're working for some guy, and you're kind of doing like research for this company. It's very. It's a very very shady kind of company. This one is more about kind of artifacts. Obviously, as you've seen. Um, kind of family is kind of maybe at war with these artifacts and sh you know what I mean but this guy wants to do good third one I can't remember at all uh, so I'm going to have to remind myself on this one <coughs> what what we actually was doing so it's Kieran yeah okay I came in. Uh, okay, start a new case. Come over as soon as you can. I've got a new lead. Okay. So, uh, Civic District. Okay. Nope, don't want to do that. Want to go there and go there, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, there he is. Kevin's office. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember this guy. 
You can't even remember if I did Ms. anything for them. I trust the Ministry of Trade and Industry is treating you well. Is now a good time? Amira, come in. Thank you for sparing the time, a most precious resource. There is something important I wanted to share with you. The result Snooping around? I rather hoped the technical term was investigating, but you are the expert. Let me ask you something. Who owns the MRT system, New Power, Singapore Roads and Tolls, and our good friends, National Water? I do enjoy a pop quiz. All I know is that they were all bought out by a bunch of companies during the deregulation. I couldn't tell you who. Two years ago, yes. Government services were snapped up by private companies and investors. Like lions fighting for a bite of a kill. No oversights, no checks and balances. Okay. A Shanghai based company called the Wu Wang Group. They own the largest stakes in these companies out of all the shareholders. Never heard of them. Their growth has been only recent and rapid. Benign or malignant? That's what we need to find out. They haven't invited publicity, which has me wondering what their intentions are. Could be like a silent owner? I have nothing on them. At least not yet. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Right? Depends if you look for it. <laughs> the money used in the it's the truth. is coming from somewhere, and I've got a hunch Wu Wang is involved. What's the end goal? Proof that Wu Wang is involved in the bribery of government officials? Ultimately, yes. Exposing Wu Wang's link to the scandals is a step in the right direction. Okay. Where do we start? What have your investigations dug up? I've got a list of people that I think know something. One of them works at the Transportation Authority. Okay. His name is Gilbert Ma. Middle management type. I don't want to spook him. You want to catch the prey? You've got to think like the lion. Let's send him a little gift. A mutual acquaintance has informed me Mr. Ma is a wine connoisseur. He visits a bar in the area, just across the street from his building. Perhaps you can convince the barman to point you in the right direction? We're gonna find out the right wine. All right, <coughs> start with the bar. If I unearth anything new, I'll keep you updated. Okay, sounds easy enough. New case bottled up. So we got it. So we're basically gonna try and sweet sweet talk this guy by giving him a bottle of wine. That's what I'm getting out of that. Right, okay. Travel to the wine house, the uh, civic district, and find out what Gilbert Ma drinks. It opens at four. Oh, it's, it's open now. Okay. Welcome to Wine House. You came up with a name. Beats me. And though I do not know the proprietor, he has such things for soul singers who died before their time. Ah, huh, quaint. Uh, what can I get for you? Uh, not too long ago, I was here with a friend. He had a drink that was mixed to perfection. I can't remember what it was called. Remember anything about it? Um, any clue at all? I hope you'll be able to tell me. My friend's name is Gilbert Ma. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if you keep records of pictures or that kind of thing. I'm sure we do. But I'm not in the business of making drinks. Not giving out private information. Oh goodness, I hadn't thought of it as private. Just forgotten. Oh well. Never mind. Perhaps I'll try something new instead. I knew go Gilbert Ma. He comes in here a lot. It's funny. I'm usually pretty good with faces. When were you in here? 
Perhaps you weren't working that evening. Go on, impress me. What's the most complicated cocktail on the menu? Most complicated as well. That would be the startled bartender. Most cocktails I can fold together in a few seconds. This requires more finesse. It has 20 different ingredients, some of which we use so rarely that they're kept in the back room. All right then. What? I'll have the startled bartender cocktail. Um, um, whoa. This is good. I haven't even got a cocktail yet. That's already fulfilling its promise. Uh, it'll take some time. You know what to say? Like a fine vintage, perfection does take time. Well then, no rush. I'm here to relax. Guess we have to use the computer. This should keep him busy for a while. Bob investigates. Just, just get around on the computer. So yeah, no far. Uh, I've just got this unlock screen. Welcome to the Renegade software system. Uh, okay. And we're in. Take a few transactions. Come on. I'll have a Singapore sour. <laughs> uh, no problem. I'll, I'll, if you head back to your table, I'll have to wait to bring it to you. Just a minute. Muffled drunk sounds. That makes no sense. Ah, finally, here we are. Gilbert Mazelis' transactions. If I can get a hold of what he likes, I'll be a better place to find it. I think he, he feels it's worth his time. Oh, I'm guessing any of that. Take a pitch of that. I won't remember this. So, so any of them? It looks like he's a wine connoisseur. Mars fan of burgundy red. Okay. Call speaking. Justin. You seem like a man about town. Can you re recommend a wine shop? Uh, I thought you don't drink. It's not for me. It's for someone who's needing a little persuasion. Something expensive. I see. Well, you're quite aware of a global wine shortage. So there isn't much around these days. But Tara in Toa Poya should have some decent stock. Great, thanks, gotta go. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> the guy's there. Who does someone have to bribe to get service around here? I'm not to buy you a drink, Mama, but it looks like you already made an unwise Leticia? decision. Leticia, ex-CEO of National Water? Is that you? I'm fairly certain that it's not my full name. You're meant to be behind bars, not in one. Huh. <laughs> Very good, Amira. What can I say? I have friends in strategic places. I'm sure whatever you were doing behind there doesn't involve making a million. Does one board need? It makes a change, me catching you doing something you shouldn't. Sometimes the ends justify the means. I'd hardly put us in the same category. Oh, one day, one bribes a few officials and mistakenly. <coughs> Everyone thinks you're skinny and murderer. Hardly seems fair. I am a one of those things. Which one? Is there Us. a reason why we're still talking? Yeah, I've got a drink behind me there. No time for niceties anymore. I'm here because I wish to see you. Okay. You're a wanted criminal. You must be aware the feeling is not mutual. I need you. To do something for me, Amira. Interesting that you think that's within the realm of possibility. 
The air must have been thin at the top of the corporate ladder. You're in the gutter with all the other crooks now. Just don't seem to know it. Oh, honestly, Amira, if you just pause for breath. That engineer that ended up dead. Carl Pan. Yeah. I need you to investigate his plan. You killed Carl Pan. Or you had him dealt with at least. I know that's what you think. That's what everyone thinks. That's what I thought. But I only wanted him scared. He wasn't meant to die. Climbing the corporate ladder is one thing. Taking a life is quite another. I might be involved in bribes, but I'm not a murderer. I can't think of one good reason to believe you, Letitia. Goodbye. Can I have a drink? No. Okay. So she wants me to investigate some murder, but it's not come up, so maybe that's not like a future mission. Hmm. Okay, tire power. Where's that? There, got it. That was it. It's heavier. <coughs> there we go. I'll see what you're saying. Not a lot of wiring here. Green Sister Stations. I'm Marvin, the AI Samula Extraordinaire. Or well, whoever had you install seems to have gone without a needlessly formal customer service for Cavalevi. It's well known fact that wine consoles are inclined towards the finer things in life. I'm sure it pays your price a well to make them think that, so. <coughs> Committing to the less um, is more approach in retail display, I see. Uh, iron shortages are being reduced, have, may have been reduced our selection, but what we lack in uh, quantity, we make up for in quality. Forgive me if I don't trust a bot designed to sell me things. Uh, I may not have a Marvel Compass, I may not have tire buds, but I do have an encyclopedic knowledge of on an analogy. Was that wine tasting? Grapes? Something like that? I'm not too sure. Something of wine and wine making. There you go. Okay, I'll, I'll right on the first try. Uh, well, how, perhaps your encyclopedic knowledge, you might be able to help me. Uh, gladly. Okay, so apologies to have time, but I do think we're going to go in a crucial systems update. Sigh. Guess I'll have to do the research the old fashioned way. Yep. Guess I will. So, it's a purchase of wine Gilbert Mark cannot refuse. His past instructions at Wayne ha Wine House shows he's a fan of red wines from Burgundy. So, if I do that, and I go, let's just see. Most expensive red wine burgundy. Okay. So look, the burgundy most expensive red wines. The list. Okay. The uh, Domaine Dalla Romain Conti Romain Conti Grand Jar. Two years ago an average price of fifteen thousand today it starts it stands at twenty thousand dollars. Damn for wine. Let's see if anything that like this. So I've got my wine list. <coughs> uh, what's this? So we got the. Well, what's this? This is on the list. Oh. 2020, no. 
It's got to be Vences, hasn't it? It's got to be Vences to be old, I'm guessing. Here we go. What's this? Champetif. Ipapola. Twenty twenty six. Look in. La Petite Impatience. Good impression of a white big and the uh, fraction of the price. No. Ah, an excellent choice of finer elegant wine. This is actually on my list. Hold on a minute, I'm actually... Well, the name of it is the domain name. He wants it red though, didn't he? Right, let's, let's, okay, let's, one minute. He's a fan of red wines, right, so let's, let's, let's see what this is. So this is the, I don't know, P-U-L-I-G-I-N-Y, monocrat wine. And it's a very cheap wine at that. Is it? It's white. So, no. We don't want that one. Uh, so that's white wine. Keep looking. I mean, it depends on the, what you want by, by cheap. You can, get, well, you can get one of them for cheap for like... 91 pounds but then again you can you can get one that's like 300 pounds so up depends on what you want to call cheap uh okay so what's this one this is is the uh chat a a do the papa excuse me now this is burgundy And this is definitely a red wine, so this is probably maybe it. This is 1423 Benedict XL. That one, excellent choice. So it's a little bit cheaper. I don't think this is going to be. Uh, the uh, Murray Saint D E N I S wine. It is red wine. So what? It looks like it's definitely a red wine. Okay, it is. <laughs> so, but that one's the more, and that's a white one. So we want to. So I think we'll just go for this one as it's the popular one, and it's the most expensive, and it is a red wine. 
So go back to that. Mira, I've been doing some digging and a reliable source has told me where Gilbert Marr is right now. Is it somewhere I feel the need to anti back my soul afterwards? I'll let you be the judge of that. Apparently Gilbert Marr likes to hang out at a place called Madame Shan's Palace in Chinatown after work. I am really uh, I am reliably informed he'll be wearing a navy suit and a white shirt. Is this character more colourful than his dress sense? I guess you're about to find out. Yes, we're going to into Chinatown. We're going to Madame Shan's. Here we go, here he is. It was not what I was thinking of when I heard Madame Shan's palace. It's quite nice. I don't think a guy like Gilbert would spend time at a tea garden. Navy Charles's white shirt. I think I see him. So, hope uh, my wine is the right one. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Hey, join you. Well, it's the table for two. Have a seat. What's this? I'm looking for some information. It's about the price I'm willing to pay. And a low price it is too. So you think my time and knowledge are worth your rottenness? This wine? I was sure this wine was good. What can I say? One man's good is enough for man's mediocre. Look like you've got some work in it to do in a private department. Better luck next time. Really? Oh, how was it? How did I fail? How did I, I don't know how I failed that. Can I do that again? But it was only over one ball. There must be the other one that it. But it was less price. Does it not matter? I mean, there's something important. Snooping. I rather hope. I do. Two years ago, yes. I shot. Never heard. There been. The what? Okay. I. Right, okay, yeah, we're just gonna all skip all this. Gonna go back now. God's sake. Yeah, so it's the same mission. So if you mess it up, you do go back. It's the first time I've messed one up. So, I don't know. Ah. Oh. Wrong place. Jumping the gun a little bit. I gotta find out where to sell it. Oh, we gotta do this again, really? Should have. We should have saved it. Oh, I don't think you can, to be honest with you. <coughs> Damn it! Oh, we're just gonna speed race this down. Now. Let's go. We're going to break into this. We're going to talk to the woman again. Oh, for God's sake. I can't believe it. Boom. And we're hacked through. Boom. Let's go. Hack it. 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 Hack it
Attack extraordinaire. Well, can I have a drunk uh, drink, please, miss? <laughs> no. I have to, I'm guessing I have to buy one of these. This is why it printed out the list. I'm going to take a photograph of this. Which I should have. Hey. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to tell me where it is. Thank you. This woman's going to come over. I forgot about the list. I didn't even look at it, did I, as well? I even took a photograph of it as well. So, right, okay, so I've got a picture here. Let me move it over to, can I move it over to me over monitor? No, can not. So, we're looking for... Burgundy. I'm either 2026 or 2022, it looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just give me the wine. Just give me the wine. So. Ah. So, which one is that one? Just the. No. Okay. This is obviously not the one because we, as we looked, we tried to buy it and didn't want. No, I don't think it's that one either because it's white. So yeah, it's just gonna be this one now. So I reckon, I reckon it is that one. Let me just look at this one. But no, yeah, see. I reckon it's, I definitely reckon it's definitely this one now because even the name, uh, looks like it was. All right, let's try this one. It's gotta be. It's gotta be this one. Uh, let's try it again. Let's see. What 
what's this? Looking for some information. Follow the price I'm willing to pay. Is that a Mori St. Dennis 2026? Yes. The one thing I can say no to. How does this bribery lock work? I've always wanted to know. So you, you drink and I ask the questions. I'll have to wait to sort this out. What would like to know? Ironically, I'd like to know who's been bribing you and why. Present company concluded. Do you know of any contacts between the Transport Authority and the Wu Wang group? I don't know much. You could have said that before you accepted my bribe. But I do know my colleague has started living a life differently lately. Always entertaining at a gentle, most clubbing Gay Lang. He's also known for his, uh, he's not known for his, his subtle three. The kind of person who leaves a paper trail, you might say. <laughs> okay, this is important information. Kind of person who doesn't think twice about accepting a bribe and then parading around with an entirely upgraded work attire. Shiny shoes, flashy washers, uncalled for in my opinion. Who wears a watch anymore? At least I'd stay focused. Oh yes, what I'm saying is, money came from somewhere. I may have taken a peek at his emails, saw a few from X, uh, X U E Lang at Wu Wang. E X E Lang, you say? Uh, why should Ray Lam have all the fun? Ray Lam? My colleagues clearly didn't get the memo. Is that a figurative memo or an actual memo? My point is. He's the go-to guy uh, if you're a mega corporation out to bribe and a government official. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, you understand. Paul Gilbert Ma has left his hands on the hard shoulder. Allegedly. Okay. Once upon a time, a uh, woman child, they worked in the villages, or they worked in the city, but they were never... They torn between the two, they kept within the orbit of the professions. I ask you, would society be without transport, the grease that keeps the society oiled? People live their lives on the assumption that machines will take care, will take them where they need to go. But the MRT ground to a halt, if cars stopped in the streets, what would happen to the world? Chaos, it'd be chaos. Without transport, society itself grinds to a halt. The world that would the world that was, the world that is, uh, what is it to become? It's enough to drive anyone's hiccups. Okay. And they do appreciate me. Uh, I can't say I'm following whatever your train, track your train of thought is on. No, they don't. Hiccup. Uh, he's gone, he's sloshed. I think that's my cue to leave. Take your bottle of wine with you, love. Alright, so what do we need? Uh, Kevin. So we're gonna ring Kevin up. I haven't got any updates. Better off calling him. Oh. Okay. to his office. Oh, okay. Uh, was, it, was it in Gaylang? I think it was. Excuse me. Ah, Amira. Good to see you. I thought you'd be here sooner. <coughs> yeah, we got it wrong Better. first time. Transport had something to do with it. 
I hadn't expected to be mildly held hostage by an inebriated government official waxing lyrical about the philosophy behind transportation. I had no idea it was possible to get a hangover through osmosis. Oh, excuse me. Tell me you have good news, Amira. Well, as good as news can be when the world has gone to the dogs. I am pleased to report Gilbert was quite forthcoming about the whole thing. I get the feeling he's feeling a little left out. Fancies himself a corporate criminal. Should we be worried? Let's just hope he associates corporate crimes with that horrendous headache he has on the horizon. The good news is he singled out a person named Shi and Ling. Could be our way into Wuhan. Shi and Ling. Okay. Excellent. Great work, Amira. You'll be pleased to hear I even have the name of the transport official being bribed by Wu Wang. The flashy type, apparently. Oh, good. They're the easiest sort to track down and make a charge stick. Name's Ray Lam. Excellent. If I follow the paper trail, I should have enough to get a search warrant. Listen, I know you don't do this for the money, but what we do still gotta be paid. I'll wire across payment for a job well done. Five grand? It's not bad. Excellent work, Amira. Not as much money as um. It sounds like she and Ling might doing all the things was pretty. That was pretty easy once we got the right one. Kieran, do you ever wonder whether we rely too much on machines to keep the wheels <sighs> Excuse me. turning? Um. Thank you, Amira Dharma. <coughs> A question to haunt my dreams. Okay, so we're gonna leave it there. No getting around it now. I've got to choose the client to work for for full time with. So, like I said, it's finally time to make our big decision. Call the client off your choice and let them know you'll be working full time for them. So now we can. Uh, and what you didn't, what you didn't see was um, the. Um, so we uh, Rupert's missions. They were a bit more darker, I would say. They were like trying to find people. Imagine being a sleuth and having snacks on speed dial. Who needs just one magnifying glass when you can have pizza too? Mike's wolf. What? Uh. Oh, what are you going on about? On Xbox? Game of Stalin? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Uh, anyway. I don't know where that. It's one type. How come we got, we both got uh, time, timed out again? I don't know. I'll have to fix that. I don't know why I keep on getting timed out. Shouldn't be getting timed at all. Right, so yeah, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna uh, leave that there. Uh, we're gonna save that. There we go. Yeah, so we're gonna save that there, and the next time we come back to this game, we've got a choice of who to work for. Um, so we can have a work for this guy here with the glasses, uh, Tiger Lily, which is basically, as far as we know, taking goods back to the right countries. This guy that we've just been working for, which probably may be the most interesting one. I don't know about this guy here, like I said, he's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit like, um, I can't remember exactly what the missions were about. Oh, I, I know they was a bit more darker than the other two, maybe. He seems like he's a good guy. He's, I don't know. It depends on how you look at it. Right, so I uh, thank you very much for coming into the streams, chatting, uh, and all that kind of stuff, uh, supporting. Uh, we will be back tomorrow again. If we can make it in the morning times, which I prefer, it, it will be the morning times, but looking at it at the, at the moment, it's going to be night times again. Just got a lot of stuff going on at home. Uh, got to support my son. Is having any issues going into school and stuff like that so we got to do what we got to do but we'll uh 
Well, we've been doing something fun tomorrow. Um, you know what I mean? This is just a game that I just like playing. I know it's not for everybody, but yeah. See, it comes up then, but watch. Move back or kick it out now. Let's just say if we find a snack during our sleuthing adventures, it might get real messy. But yeah, if you want if you want to support me, go to my about page. There's plenty of links on there. Uh, how to support me if you want to support me. If you want to just do it by subs or a bit or like that, or anything like that. Again, we don't ask for that, but we do appreciate it. All we ask for in this channel is give us a follow. Go over to the YouTube channel and give us a subscribe. We're trying to go on both of them. We're hopefully trying to, like I said, we, we, we've got a target of getting our YouTube page. Um, monetized by next year and you know what i mean and we keep on growing on on twitch uh, all the time so when we've nearly got to our 300 target whether we'll get there by the end of the year i'm not too sure but we we've already hit one target that was 200 we're now on 261 so we get we're getting there we're getting there anyway thanks very much um not going to be reading out a bit too tired for that but my name is chrono and i'll see you again soon bye